We are back at it here with the Miami Dolphins franchise going into week number seven, coming off our bye week. So far unbeaten in this season right now, sitting at 5-0. And now we're going to take on a 3-3 Washington football team. And this is an interesting matchup. Washington's front four, their defense up front is insane. Chase Young, Montez Sweat, and Jonathan Allen, they are beast up front. There's no doubt about it. The thing that's really confusing about this defense is the Bills just a few weeks ago put up 52 points on them. So with our offense, what can we do against this Washington football team? Their offense, they got some very good receivers, but we'll see what we can do and see if we can stay undefeated here as we face our third NFC East team in a row here. And we'll get the ball first, and this is going to be returnable for Galvin right around the one-yard line. And he'll get up to around the 25-yard line, and that's where the offense will start. And like I said, they can get to your quarterback. They got uh, Chase Young, maybe one of the best, you know, right now, coming in right now in year number four, maybe the best pass rusher in football. We'll see. You can see Tua, he is on pace for a career year right now through five ball games. And uh, let's see if we can continue it here as Dalton Steele with the carry picks up five. But it's going to be a quick third down. Third and five. Here comes the blitz. Tua firing. Ball's underthrown because of the pressure, but it's still there. And Claiborne might, makes a nice play. He's got the catch and a first down. I thought at first that was going to be an absolute disaster, but works out in our favor. Second down to nine. Tua looking and just fires incomplete, trying to find his man there. And I think that was Chase Young with a bit of pressure and brings up another third down. So third down and nine, just a four-man rush. Tua going to Claiborne, and he's got the catch. He's got the first down. I mean, they got to have a solid secondary as well. Jackson, the guy they drafted a few years ago, number one pick. Fuller, he is outstanding as well. So, I mean, I'm really confused why this defense struggles, and there you go, Pat Kirkpatrick with the touchdown. This rookie receiver is unreal. And yeah, he just torches Fuller. Not even close. I, I'm, I, I don't know. If I was watching it, I'd be totally confused what is going on defensively. I mean, this defense should be easily one of the best in football. But when you allow that many points per game and just getting torched, it's just crazy to see. I guess if you're not getting that pass rush, it's just tough. Even though these guys probably should be. As here comes our defense, which has been struggling as well. You know, we expect a little bit more out of our defense. We had a first two first couple games of the season were great, but other than that, it's been, you know, back and forth just trying to get key stops here and there. First and ten, run up the middle, and Rashad Penny breaking through some tackles, and Penny's all the way up to the 42-yard line, gain of 19. And you can see the struggles right now for our defense. As uh I mean Dwayne Haskins, he's had some rough years. I mean, they have put a lot of guys around him. That's going to be caught there by Steven Sims up to the 31-yard line. Uh, they, they had Terry McLaurin's turned in one of the better uh, receivers in football. George Wofford, a guy they drafted in the first round two years ago. Here's McLaurin underneath. That's going to be caught just short of the first down. So they have weapons. John U. Smith, free agent, pick up a few years ago from Tennessee. They got guys. And here's Antonio Gibson with the run. Gibson's going to break a tackle, and he'll be down to the 12-yard line for another Washington first down. So, this offense performing well so far. I make mean, are we in store for another back to back? You know, the last two games have been insane. That is for sure. As that's going to be a touchdown. Washington just answers the score that we got. Our single white side is in for the score, and just like that, we may be in for another crazy game against these NFC East teams, Giants. And then you got last week, the week before after the bye, Philadelphia. Uh, we'll see. As that's a good run. Good start to the drive there. Gus Edwards for 13 yards up to the 38-yard line. And a first down. We'll love to get that run game going early on this ball game. Second and seven. Play action. Tua looking. He's going to dump it down here to Dalton Steele. Steele's got some room to run. He easily picks up the first down. And we're up to the 49-yard line. So right now you can see both defenses just have no answers at the moment. Second and ten. Two is going to hand off to Galvin up the middle. He'll pick up just a few yards there on the draw play. Not a whole lot. Actually, they give him no gain at all. And brings up a third and ten from the gun. Just a four-man rush here from Washington. We got a man. That's Kasicki open. First down up to the 34. Gain of 15. I mean, with our offense, if you just do not get the two, uh, forget about it. These receivers will get open. We'll find somebody. Nobody is really, I'd say, Shut us down this whole season as Tua firing finds Kirkpatrick another touchdown. He's in 
Kind of almost nearly the same spot, same route. This time, Chua just gets out of the pocket, finds his man, and with the speed he has, even in that little short space, almost running up to 21 miles an hour, beats Fuller. Fuller, all he can do is try to trip him up, but it's too late. He's in the end zone. Touchdown number two for Kirkpatrick in the ball game. We retake the lead here, 14-7. As Gibson with a run, and that's going to be a flag on the play, and that is going to be a holding call, so knock back Washington. And I'll take away that run, and brings up now second and 16. So maybe this is where we can kind of get the stop. As Kaskin's back in the pocket, looking, firing, and it's a wide open receiver, Steven Sims. He gets laid out uh, by Cloud, but it doesn't matter. First down up to the 37 yard line, and uh, Washington moves into the second quarter, getting a new set of downs. Haskins to the outside. That's going to be caught by McLaurin. Just kind of boxing out Byron Jones there for another Washington first down as we just can't seem to stop him either. Haskins, second and four to the outside. Got Sims. He's got another catch. Another first down. Nine to ten start here for Haskins. He's looking good. I mean, we're making him look good. These, these are just easy throws. Janu Smith, catch, first down. And that's the thing. It's not like Haskins is just ripping us up. I mean, these guys are just wide open. The coverage has been awful so far. Really haven't had any pressure. So we got to step some things up here. And it's right there to get George Wofford. That's an easy pitch and catch. Easy. And Washington's now down to the 11-yard line. Third and goal. It's time. We're just going to play quarters. We're going to just drop in a coverage. Hopefully dumps it off. And that's exactly what we want there as we at least get the stop. You know, if we're not going to pass for us, let's just drop guys into coverage, make it harder for Haskins, and we hold at least Washington to a field goal. We did that too. We, you know, that's the one, I guess, key thing right now to our defense is Chase Young just gets right in there and takes down Gus Edwards. At least a lot of the times, even if teams get into the red zone against us, we're holding them to field goals. That is a big part. Third down and five. Two as they bring the blitz, leave everybody one on one, and Kirkpatrick's going to be fuller for the third time here in the first half for the touchdown. 70 yards. If you leave him one on one, and the speed, you can see he just ran right by him. Just enough blocking there for Tua to get the throw off, and it's not even close. Kirkpatrick is pretty much Tyreek Hill 2.0. There's no doubt about it. Touchdown, third of the first half, and we get the lead up to 11 here, 21-10. And as long as our defense can just hold up, and right now it's a big pass down the field, and they find Steven Sims for 51 yards. So Washington just answers right back here. With a catch of their own, and just like that, they're down to the 21, trying to get this back to a one-possession ball game. Up the middle is Penny, and he picks up around six, and it's going to bring up a third and one. So from the gun, and actually going to throw it here with Haskins, and he dumps it off right to McLaurin. I mean, it's only about a gain of two or gain of three, but it's enough. First down, Washington, and they can still get a first down around the two-yard line. So first and ten. Haskins back to throw once again. And wide open over the middle is George Watford for the touchdown. Just terrible defense. Not good at all. He's in for the score. And Washington, just like that, answers our score as well. Puts this back to a four-point ball game. So four minutes left here in this first half. Let's see if we can have a good drive here. Put up uh, maybe another touchdown and get into halftime. And not allow Washington to get the ball back because they're just moving it quickly. Second down and 12 from the 44. Tua dropping back, firing over the middle. That's going to be Claiborne with a catch. He's got a first down to the 42-yard line, beating Darby there in coverage. And maybe maybe one more play here for two-minute warning. So we got 224 left. That's Tua looking, blitz brought. He's just going to dump this off to steal underneath. Great play there by Tua. You know, not forcing it if you don't have it down the field. Find your outlet right there to steal and picks up the first down easily down to the 27-yard line. And now, under two minutes in this first half at the 29. Tua, here comes another blitz, but it's picked up perfectly. And Kasicki wide open down the middle. 26 yards from the down to the three. Our, give our credit to our offensive line and blocking. And it's been outstanding so far in this ball game. First and goal. Tua firing, trying to find Kirkpatrick, but this time, nice play there by Fuller. Incomplete. Third and goal now from the three. To a wide open is Dalton Steele. Quick decision. Quick throw there from Tua. And he's got four touchdown passes here in this first half. What a first half from this offense. 
And man, what a first half from Tua in this offensive line. I mean, the whole offense as a core has been outstanding here. 28-17 the lead, 43 seconds left. And let's see if our defense can at least get a stop here, not allow Washington to get a score. Because if they get a score here, they get the ball to start the second half. We don't want the back-to-back uh, -back scores. 36 seconds left. They're going deep. Have a man, but Walford can't hang on to it. Nice play by Xavier Howard. At least knock that up. Third down. Haskins in the pocket looking. Has all day to throw. Just better coverage down the field, and he just throws it away. Incomplete. And that'll bring us to halftime. Man, the pass rush for our team has just been non-existent. And Haskins has been able to sit back there, do whatever he wants to do. But luckily for us, our offense has been outstanding. So the only, uh, we got Buffalo losing to Dallas 21-14. Jets had a bye. And uh, I don't even think we have to worry about New England right now. They lose again to the Giants. 48-16. And they remain winless on the season. So we get into the second half. Can we make any adjustments defensively? And that's a good start. First and 10. Just throws it away intended maybe for John U. Smith there. So third and five. Can we get Washington off the field to start off this drive? Not going to happen. John U. Smith over the middle. Just wide open. Almost breaks through a few tackles. First down up to the 41-yard line. It's just when you think we, we big plays on offense. We can put this team away. They just come right back, and right now trying to answer again is Penny with the carry, and he picks up 10 yards easily there, first down. He's at five carries, 41 yards. They've been splitting him and Gibson, and the run game for Washington has actually been pretty good, as now that's Steven Sims beating Jerome Baker in coverage. Definitely a mismatch there, and another first down, and just like that, they're down to the 22-yard line. First and 10, and finally somebody makes a play somewhere. Vince Haynes comes through. Nice job there getting through, making the tackle for loss. and makes this a third and 12. Haskins looking, but just no heat. Finally, somebody gets through. It's Becton for the sack. But still, I would say that's a coverage sack. Coverage was great down the field. Just enough time to get through. And now a field goal attempt here from about 55 yards. The kick is up. It is good. So Washington still gets points and puts this back to a one-possession ball game. And what a first half for Packer Patrick. Three catches, 122, three touchdowns. Really can't complain about that. First and 10, Tua firing, looking for this man. Kirkpatrick, and he finds him. He's got him down the field, up to the 42. And, man, Tua already has 300 yards passing. And we still got a quarter and a half to play. Second down and five. Go to the run game. Dalton Steele, one man to beat. He can't beat him. But makes his way through up to the 23-yard line. First down. You see Dalton Steele only a seventh carry. The passing game is just working so well. There's really, you know, why run? But now getting into the second half with the lead, you know, when you want to possess the ball just a little bit, you know, limit those possessions because we believe we can put in the touchdowns and really hold Washington. Second down and one. Wide open underneath is Higgins. Higgins digs for it. He's got the touchdown. Big play there from T. Higgins, his first catch of the ball game, and he's got the score. And that's touchdown number five there for Tua. So 35-20, back to a two-possession ball game, and maybe our defense is woken up. Jerome Baker gets in there for the sack. Can we get a three and out, something we just haven't had this whole game? They're going to set up a screen, get it to Gibson, but nice job there. That's Igbenogany getting the stop. Hayward was there to help him out. That's a three and out, exactly what we need to really try to put this game away as Dalton Steele with the carry, doing whatever he can, picks up maybe four yards, up to around the 40-yard line, and brings up a third and two. And we're going to just continue this ground game here as Dalton Steele finding some room, first down up to the 43-yard line. And it's working out. You know, bring the run game in the second half, really slow down these teams and really just, you know, put them to bed, really. First and 10, two going up top, Kirkpatrick, and he beats him, and it's that touchdown once again. Pat Kirkpatrick, fourth touchdown of the ball game. Tenth of the season, what a game this guy is having. Sixth touchdown for Tua, and I believe that's tied right now. He has just tied the Dolphins' record with Dan Marino, and I believe Bob Greasy, six touchdowns they have thrown for 
and now put two in that category. One more to break and one more to tie the NFL record for most touchdown passes in a ball game. And then also on the other side, as the defense gets a straight three and out, can we not complain with that? Packer Patrick has tied Paul Warfield and Mark Ingram for the most touchdowns in a ball game in Dolphins history at four. So he's tied with those two guys. So we might have some record breakers here in this ball game as we move into the fourth quarter. Still got a whole quarter to play. 42-20 lead as Gus Edwards with a nice run picks up around nine. Now my, we'll, tr we'll try. I think we'll try to get two of the record for sure here with this lead. But still, let's just try to run this ball, get out of this ball game relatively healthy, get another victory. This is maybe the best this offense. I mean, the offense has looked really good this season, but this is the best game we have played. So third down and 10, Tua going up top, looking for Kirkpatrick, and he's got it for the touchdown. Touchdown number five for Pat Kirkpatrick. That ties him with Jerry Rice and Kellen Winslow for the most receiving touchdowns in a single game at five. And as for Tua, that puts him up there with seven, tied for the most in NFL history in a single game. Peyton Manning and seven others are there. And now add another one. Tua, Tongue of Iolola, he is in there. And that's your ball game. Now Washington would put a couple scores up late. So would we. But 56 to 34 is your final. What a ball game. I don't even know how that's not a perfect QB rating for Tua. 19 to 25, 422, seven touchdowns, no interceptions. Dalton Steele and Gus Edwards combined for over 100 yards, averaging pretty good. But Packer Patrick, six catches, 241, five touchdowns, 241 is the most receiving yards in Dolphins history in a single game. So he breaks those records there. And the defense kind of fell apart at the end as well. Now, granted, we're playing off coverage. Didn't really have to get into that. Haskins ended up getting some garbage touchdowns there. Uh, garbage time touchdowns and yards. So, you know, the defense did at least step up in the second half, get enough key stops to where we put up points and pretty much put the game away where it didn't matter. But, man, <laughs> unbelievable. Kirkpatrick wins Offensive Player of the Week, just beating out Tua, who <laughs> threw for seven touchdowns. Kirkpatrick also has a skill upgrade. He's up to now an 83 overall. Just continue with that catching traffic. But let's take a look at this season stats. You can see we're very close to seeing his development, not quite yet. Let's take a look at his season so far through these six games. I mean, no less than five catches yet in a ball game. Uh, 80 yards is his worst yardage-wise. He's had only one game where he hasn't had a touchdown, and that was he still had seven catches for 112. And really, the only reason he might not get TD because we were looking for Claiborne in that game to get this uh, dev upgrade. I mean... This guy's insane. Insane. Four games over 100 yards. And look at Tua. He hasn't had a game yet where he hasn't thrown under 300 yards. Two times he's thrown over 400 yards. The last two games combined, 10 touchdowns, no picks. I mean, I mean, I think he's very close to 2,000 yards passing already. And we're only in game six. We have 10 games to go. Now that puts him up to 23 touchdowns on the season. We might have one heck of a season. It's already one heck of a season here for two in this offense. He could be throwing near 50 touchdowns. We'll see. We can break the record Dolphins-wise for Dan Marino. It's going to be an interesting one down the season. As long as guys stay healthy, I can't wait to see what Packer Patrick puts up here in his rookie season. This might be a better season than Randy Moss. I mean, we'll see. This guy is absolutely crazy. But week number eight is going to have us against the Jets. We've seen crazy games against them, but this is the first time they actually have a really good team and winning record but that's gonna do it for this one thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for all the support if you please leave a like comment and subscribe i will see you in the next one you guys have a good one bye bye